Hi YouTube, I know I'm late getting this update to you, but this has been quite a day. You know how you make your plans and then life happens? I'm gonna move this camera down a little bit. There. Um, went to bed last night. I realized it just was, it was warm all night long and the air was on, I think it was set at 74. Kept throwing covers off all night long. And I got up in the morning and my home was 78 and the air wasn't working. I said, oh boy. And I decided to get up at six this morning. I don't know why. I was all slipped out. So I sent a note to my landlord and I sent a note to my son because he happens to work for my landlord. He's like the handyman par excellence. This guy can fix anything. And if he doesn't know, have a part, he'll engineer one. So that happened. And I thought, well, I'll get up early. I'll make my coffee. I'll uh, go out and work on my computer. I'm doing my taxes now. I'm still doing my taxes. It's, I haven't really put my nose to the grindstone, you know, I've taken off weekends and had some fun. Um, and, it, and I went to log in and Microsoft said, you need to, your password has expired. You need to reset your password. Well, this has happened twice before. And both of those times, I couldn't reset it. Um, I chose a new password, confirmed it. They don't match. Well, after three times, they don't match. And of course, I checked with a little eye to make sure that they're both the same. And then you hit OK and it just would not let me log in. So each time, I've had to go make an appointment with Best Buy and the Geek Squad. I am not a computer genius. <laughs> we all have our areas of expertise and that is not mine so um, that was so there was that but I was waiting around for someone to come and turn the air back on and I wanted to get into you know my computer I couldn't do any of that to finish what I needed to do on the taxes so I thought, well, I'll just sit down and start doing some computing. And then I had all that done, added things up. And this all goes to my account. I don't do it myself. But there's a lot of receipts and a lot of things that I have to keep track of. I'm sure you know all that. And then <laughs> I couldn't find any of my 1099s. I always put them in either my tax or my social security folder. None of them were there. I just thought, oh, today is one of those days. And so I had to do that and I had to go down to Best Buy and, and I had called Social Security and they said, oh, just go to the office in downtown Ocala and walk in and they'll give you a copy. Well, that was a mistake. I walked in the door and there's hordes of people sitting there and I had exactly 20 minutes to go to Best Buy for my appointment. So that didn't happen. I thought, you know, when I go home today, I'm gonna do my cocktail series update late and then I'm gonna have a cocktail. I don't usually do that, do I? <laughs> well, I tell you I don't, but I really don't. So what am I making today? It's sex on the beach. I hope YouTube isn't gonna ban that, but that's what we're making. It's a typical summer drink. So I've got a whole shaker full of ice here. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is add some vodka. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know, and you're here new for the first time, I'm Annika Van Buren of Ocala in Tampa, Florida. So we're gonna start with two ounces of vodka. Now this is to make two drinks. So hopefully I'll have enough room in this shaker. They want you to pour it in a pitcher and then pour it over ice in a glass. And the only kind of pitcher I have is about this big. Believe it or not. And then this is an ounce of 
This is a new one. Peach schnapps. Yeah. And then you have the juice of two oranges, which is about two ounces. We're going to be close here, I'll tell you right now. And then another two ounces of cranberry. One, two. And what I am not going to do is shake this. I'm just going to pour this right in here. And it'll mix right in the glass, just like that. And then I have us adding a slice of orange for each drink. Now that's two drinks. I told you when I got to. And then some maraschino cherries. Now I love the ones that Bada Bing makes, but they're hard to find. At least here in Ocala. What can I say? So. This is the, uh, how should we say, censored on the beach. Oh, that's good. And you know the problem with these? They are sweet and they are juicy and they are light. And you wanna just go, <laughs> and the next thing you know, <laughs> so that's not going to happen. This is going in the fridge for later. I was kidding, I'm not gonna drink it now. It's too, too early. Now, I will show you the dress and what I'm wearing. And please don't be making smart comments today. I pulled a muscle in this leg last night. And these are five and a half inch Christian Louboutin Pagal pumps. Yeah, they're high, and they are probably the worst shoes in the world to walk in. Oh yes, I know, they had these beautiful red soles, and red under the heels, and they are just so sexy. What's the color of the dress? I call it olive. What would you call it? And then this is a vintage necklace. My sister uh, makes some artwork with vintage jewelry and collects it. And she said, she handed me this bucket. She said, take what you want. And this is something that I bought in Ireland many years ago. It's in that olive green stone. So the area, I'll walk away again. And that's it for today. I don't have any more news from the home front. I hope you have a great weekend, and remember, it doesn't cost a thing to be kind. That one little kind moment that you have for someone might just make their day. Namaste, my friends.